Welcome back. So in this lecture, you're going to learn how to create an offer ad. So quickly, two questions. Number one, what are offer ads? And number two, what are they good for? Well, first of all, an offer ad is whenever you have an offer. So let's say, for example, that you have 50% off on something. You could create an offer ad for that. Or let's say that you have uh, some offer that's like buy one, get two. As an example, those are all different types of offers. Now, of course, any ad that you create could be an offer. So that brings us to question number two. What are the benefits of offer ads? Well, the benefits of offer ads are that, first of all, you do not need a landing page. The offer and the code, if you're going to use a code, are going to be directly on Facebook. So they are much more easily accessible for all of the users, right? And number two, it works for online and it works for offline stores as well. The downfall is that you're not going to get their email, right? They are going to be getting notifications and reminders to be claiming their offers, even sent to their email, but you will not have access to their email. So give and take a little bit here. The benefit is it's much more uh, easily accessible. You're going to have a lot more people who claim it. And the downside is you're not going to get their email address if you're building an email list, right? So very powerful tool, especially if you have an offline store. It's very handy. Let's dive in. So starting off as usual, we're going to go ahead and click on create up here. And then we are going to choose our campaign objective, right? We already know the rest of the stuff. Now for campaign objective, offer ads only work on three different objectives. And those three objectives are traffic, conversions, and store traffic, right? One more time on traffic, conversions, and store traffic. So for this example, we're just going to go ahead and create one for traffic, right? I'm going to click on save to draft and we're going to start setting these ones up. So first of all, on the campaign, there's nothing more or anything special we need to do. We already selected traffic, one of the three. We're going to move to ad set. So this is where we actually activate the offer ad. So scrolling down, there is a section here that says offer, right? Drive more conversions by creating an offer people can save and get reminders about. They should write an offer people can't refuse. That would have been some great Facebook humor. So we're going to go ahead and click on on right here. And then we're going to select a page. So we're going to go ahead and let's say that we use um, Robin and Jesper for this example. There we go. Then we're going to go ahead and create offer. So in here, this is basically where you are designing your ad, right? So the difference is that now we get pretty much directly to the ad design. This is going to be the way your ad looks like. And this is going to be the meat and potatoes of your ad. So we're going to start from the top and go down to the bottom as always. So first of all, what is going to be the title? So the title is going to be the actual offer itself. So let's say that we had something like 50% off on Facebook ads course. Let's say that that was our offer. We had a 50% off on our Facebook ads course. So that would be the offer title. And then we're going to write the details. So let's say, for example, improve your ads conversion rates, uh, return on investment, uh, lead generation and results by using our step by step uh, Facebook ads course, something like that, right? So you could either write something that is actually going to sell what it is that you're selling here, or you could write something that is further going to explain or detail your offer, right? But you're also going to have another opportunity for that. So for the details, most of the time, you kind of want to let them know what they're getting or, or what it is that you're offering. So if it's 50% off on Facebook ad scores, well, then why should they care, right? So that's the kind of details that you want to give them. And then we have a um, an end date. You always want to set an end date, right? Because an offer is going to be useless if there's no end date. So this is going to be such a big variable. So it can be anything between three days to up towards two weeks. It's completely going to depend on you. I'm just going to leave it like this. I think it's about a week right now. Okay. And then we scroll down a little bit and then we get where can people redeem, right? We have uh, online, uh, in-store or both. Now, we're going to start with online and go through the different options, and then we're going to do in-store and then both, all right? So first of all, online. Now, the first thing that we have is down here, the type of promo code that you're going to be using. Basically, how will they be redeeming their offer? So the first one is no code. 
If there's no code and you are online, well, that means that the code needs to be embedded or the offer needs to be embedded in the link. So, for example, if we are going to uh, offer a discount on our Facebook ads course that is on Udemy, well, we're going to need to have that code embedded on Udemy. So, it's going to look something like that, right? So, we have the normal URL is udemy.com slash course slash Facebook dash uh, marketing dash masterclass and here we have the question mark coupon code equals claim 50 off right so that is going to be the coupon code so when they click on that link the code is going to automatically be applied so that means that they do not need to use anything manually but rather when they claim this offer they're going to be getting the link and the code in it already now what you can also do is use one code, right? So if you use one code, remember here we can see that the code is claim 50 off. So then we would write claim 50 off like that. So that means that now you can have people who are going to be writing this in where you can apply the code. Now that probably going to be on your website, whether that is going to be on, on Udemy or something else that you have to offer, then they write that code in themselves. Now there's a benefit with this, of course, because that means that they can share it, meaning that you want them to share it, right? Uh, and then we have unique codes as well. Now unique codes are a little bit differently because you need to set up a CSV template where all of them have different unique codes. The benefit with this is that they are more trackable. You can see who is redeeming what code. Now the downside is that it's a little bit more work, but they are not very hard at all. You just download the CSV template and follow this format, right? It's just it's a very easy step by step and then you upload it here just making sure that all of the different codes are unique so once you redeem it once you can't redeem it again all right and then if we go back to no code we have total offers available and that is simply how many offers do you want there to be before this uh, shuts off so let's say that you have it running for a week right but you're only offering a hundred and they people redeem a hundred in three days well then you have nothing more to offer makes sense right now there's also in-store. In-store is a little bit differently, right? Because this is offline. So what you can do is that you can use no code and no code is a little bit special because that means that if you're not using a code and people are claiming this offer, they're going to need to show it on their cell phone to, to show that they have claimed the offer. That's going to be the only way. So there's no code. You click on claim on Facebook and then you show this to the cashier. Well, the issue with that is, of course, that they're going to have to do their own statistics. So you're going to have someone at the cashier or someone at the help desk who's going to need to write down everything if you want to uh, have some statistics on this. OK, so this you need to, to show on the phone. Now, if you use one code, well, then you can just have people that are going to be uh, telling you the code. And if they tell you the code, well, then they're able to redeem it. Right. So this is going to be a different system where it's based on you actually telling them the code that you have. Now, of course, you can click on claim and show it on the cell phone as well. But this one is code based. So you can write in your own custom code or you can just use one of these codes that are already in here. Now, just write in your own code, I think. And then we have unique codes and unique codes is just like we looked at before, right? And that means that you're going to have to create a CSV template and write out uh, your different unique codes. So a unique code could be, for example, uh, let's say that it, the code was claim 50 off. Then it would be claim 50 of one, claim 50 of two. And let's say you wanted to have 100, you would number them up towards 100. So if someone claimed, uh, claimed 51, well, then they can't use that code again. OK, so it's easier to track that way. And you can see how many codes that actually have been used and by whom. All right. So next up, we also have both, which means that you can use both of them. So let's say that you're using no code or one code. It doesn't really matter. And then you have a URL here. Well, you're going to be able to use this URL, but you're also going to be able to claim it in the store. Right. So you could do either or both, depending on how you're conducting your business. Same with one code, same with unique codes. Work the very same way, just that now it goes both ways, right? You're just gonna make, you have to make sure that you're running your own statistics if people go offline to your store. Uh, granted, you want statistics, but usually you kind of do. And then we're gonna just for now keep it on online. We're gonna keep it on no codes, it's just a URL. We're gonna keep the offer, so let, you know, let's push it to a thousand, why not? And scrolling down, we have advanced options. And the first one is if you want to hide the share option. As you can see here, you can share this offer, right? If you hide it, you can't share this offer. So this has some benefits, some advantage and disadvantage. Now, if you, uh, for example, in our case, since we are offering a Facebook ads course and that is online, 
we would be more than happy to share as many of these offers as possible because you know it's an online product it's not going to run out of quantity however if you uh, are in the store you have an offline product well then you probably have a limited quantity of those products and that limited quantity is going to need to reflect the offers available so let's say that you have 200 in stock well that means that the total offers available is probably going to be like you know 200 or 100 depending on if it's an actual in-store where people might buy without the code just to make sure that you know uh, you, you're playing it on the safe side so the stock is going to have to reflect the code but similarly that means that you're probably not going to want to use the share option because if this goes viral or, or a lot of people are going to be sharing it and it becomes a big thing you're going to run out really really quickly right so if you have a high ticket sale then you probably want to stay away from the share option but for most people to actually sell out that is going to be the best gift of them all mostly you want to sell as much as possible so if you have some really seriously high ticket sale then probably you want to hide the share option and get some more exclusive targets remember you're targeting an audience after this as usual so if you want to focus on the targeted audience well then you want to stick with this Okay, but for now we're gonna use it because in most of the cases you're gonna want to have as many sales as possible. So let people share. And then we have terms and conditions and the terms and conditions gonna be, uh, for example, can only be redeemed at certain stores. So it can only be redeemed in certain countries and can only be redeemed in a certain way. So you give them the rules and conditions of actually using and redeeming this code. All right, so that's gonna be need to be put in here. Now, Here's the details page, meaning the way that it's going to be uh, looking like, right? And then we're going to have a notification page as well. So that means that whenever someone clicks on save offer, which you can see save for later, uh, which is right here, well, then they're going to be getting a notification about using it. You have an unused offer from Robin and Jesper, and you're going to be getting up towards three reminders to be using this offer, which is fantastic. And then they're also be going to be getting sent an email. Here's the offer from Robert and Jesper you saved while on Facebook. Show this to the cashier at the checkout as an example. Right, so, and then you, you get to see this offer and then they can claim it and use it. Now, once again, the great benefit with this is that you can bring out your offer on Facebook. It's very easy to claim, it's very easy to use. And they're even gonna get a notification on Facebook and an email sent to them. The down part is that you do not get access to their emails. So you can't build your email list based on it. So it's a give and take here once again. So very easy and effective to use, but no email list that's being built, all right? So once we've set all of this up, well, then it's all done. We're gonna go ahead and click on create. So now it's set up and for the rest, you already know how to set all of this stuff up. And it's as usual, you do your targeting, you can use a specific audience. All of this is the exact same, right? And then what to optimize for. Now what's gonna be different is if we move to the ad design. So scrolling down, all we're gonna need to do is go ahead and select a, a single image or video or a carousel. So we're gonna start off by doing that. Let's go to add image and then let's go ahead and use a stock photo this time. And now we're gonna search for something like, um, let's say course. And then we're gonna select one, so say, let's go with this one. I'm gonna click on continue. Scrolling down, um, the only thing that we need to add at this point is going to be a primary text. So we're gonna go ahead and write something like, increase your Facebook ads conversions in just one week's time something like that right you probably want to spend a little bit more um, well uh, thought through text in here but we're gonna write something that's going to be appearing in at the top of the text and looking to the right here we can see the offer right so increase your Facebook ads conversions in just one week's time they can go ahead and click on offer and from there they can use it they can save it down they're going to be getting notifications and they're going to be getting an email sent to them as well so it's very easy to create an offer ad and remember only works for three different objectives and that is going to be traffic conversions and store traffic all right so this is how you create offer ads and remember offer ads only work for traffic conversions and store traffic as objectives that is now you can create your own offer ads remember the give and take very easy very effective but you do not get access to their email all right let's move on and learn how to create the next type of ad see you in the next lecture